film review, a serious one, where I reference my average photography and pretend to know what I'm talking about. But first, what the heck is Ultra P400? Honestly, it's by this company here in Alberta called Flick Film. They don't share much about the information. Um, upon sleuthing around the internet, I think most people like myself can agree that it's actually Fomapan 400, just repackaged for this Alberta company. Yeah, so I guess what the heck is Fomapan 400? It is a panchromatic black and white film designed for low light or uh, what do they say? Um, short exposure times. I shot this stuff at 800 because it's like there's no light out and I'm sick of shooting slow speed films and getting underexposed images. So I went with 800. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. I like it. 12 stars. Even though it's kind of muddled in some of the grays where I really pulled the exposure. I, uh, I enjoy it still. Even though last time I didn't like the muddled grays in the last episode. But hey, I'm only human and this is all arbitrary. Eh. We can see enough. Six stars. Now that is sharp. Eight stars. Sue me. I love grain. 15 stars. Please don't sue me. I, c I can't afford to be sued. I think first and foremost, I need to shoot Fomapan. I think given what we know, if that's truly what it is, um, yeah, I want to give it a shot and see how it compares simply because I love flick film. I love supporting a local company, local to me in Alberta here, but their quality control isn't great and you get a lot of these light leaks. I've talked about this before in previous videos outside of the review thing, but yeah, there's like a lot of light leaks and stuff, which in the black and white film stocks, it's okay. I don't love it in this, in any of these though. It kind of just washes out some images. I didn't show any of them, but yeah, I don't know. I don't love that part about it, but on the other hand, I, other than that, I really like the film. Um, I shot this stuff at 800. I thought I would lose a lot of shadow detail and I didn't lose too much. There's still a fair amount there. Um, I like some good fall off and some, some crunchy blocks anyways, so it's perfectly fine with me. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've shot quite a bit of this stuff over this last year. It's been pretty much my go-to black and white film. Um, it's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap, it's readily available. And uh, yeah, ultimately, ultimately I enjoy it. It's uh, punchy, it's grainy. I, I like the halation in the highlights. I think it can provide some interest when there might not be some interest. Um, but yeah, I enjoy shooting it. I will continue to shoot it for the foreseeable future. I'm definitely going to try and find some foam pan just because I want to try it out. I've developed like two or three rolls here in my little lab and scanned them, but I've never really done a side by side comparison, nor do I have any to do one with right now. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's how I feel about it. Overall, I really enjoy it. It's nice and grainy. It's nice and contrasty. Um, it holds up well to being pushed or pulled or in good lighting or whatever lighting situation you're in. And, uh, yeah, good everyday film for me. I like. As always, um, well, not as always, but 
We're gonna talk about some film or some photos, my favorite photos. First, we have this one. It's uh, the reflection of the C train by my house, the train here in Calgary. Um, I, once again, I like the, the vertical lines I have, the one right on the left, the one right on the right. You can see my two or my hood there in the, the top of like in between there. You can see that I'm standing there, but I like the person on the left walking by. I like the clouds. Um, they provide nice texture. The the lighting in the clouds is nice and fun. You get a little bit of that halation. You even get that halation on. If you look kind of through, you can see where those bright spots are. That's like where you get your tickets for the train, and those are nice and bright. I don't know. It's tough to tell what's going on in this image, but I think that kind of the point of why I like it. It's just kind of busy and got some textures and some lines and some yeah it's fun i enjoy it i uh once again i don't think i'm an amazing photographer i just uh yeah anyways whatever uh the second one we have here this is right by uh the hill by my building this is where the old church or the old uh hospital was in calgary in bridgeland i believe um yeah snap this photo with um this father taking his child down i don't know I, I'm trying to add more people into my photography. It's a, it's pretty hard for me. Um, Calgary's just not a busy city, so people aren't used to having their photo taken, and there's like no lights. I want to use a flash, and yeah, 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 yeah. It's a confidence thing and a skill thing, and I'm getting better at it. So I, I enjoy this because there is, the, although it's backs of people which aren't genuinely interesting, you can see that there's action about to happen. As well as if you follow your, I think you can follow the the line there from the person down the hill, and you can see there's a group of people down there just kind of waving and having a good time, which like again adds, I believe, to the action non-action of the image. You can, um, you know what's about to come. You foresee what's about to happen, and I think that helps make the the image interesting. I wish it was a little bit better exposed, but. I enjoy it. I like how I use the trees on the right there to, to sort of frame it in and help guide your eye to where I want. And it is my building in the back. Um, next, we have another one of the Calgary Tower. This is across the bridge that I usually walk with Jane. Um, I just like this one. It, uh, I like all the grain, I like all the textures, I like all the tones. Um, I think I blended the city in really nicely with the bushes on the left and the right. So it's not just like city. There's like a, almost like a gradient I find. Um, and then my favorite part about this is just the geese on the bottom there, just swimming in a straight line along the ice up into up to their friends there. Yeah, I think this image and the one from last time with, um, with all the snow and the guy walking his dog with the Calgary Tower in the background, I think those are my two favorite images recently of the Calgary Tower, that is. Um, finally, we have this image. Um, it's just going under the bridges the overpasses coming into downtown. Um, yeah, I just like the lighting on here and I I really enjoy the framing of it all. There's obviously some really strong sharp lines running kind of through the image in opposite directions. And then I really enjoy how you still can see the top of the building through, that nothing's cut off there. It's, it's like a clear image of the top of the building at least. Um, yeah, again, I really, I'm trying to really clean up my compositions and my framing a lot. I think I have, decent framing and compositions. They're just, I'm not as patient as I should be. And sometimes they get kind of muddled around the edges because I'm really focused. Anyways, that's personal things. Um, yeah, those are my four favorite images. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I, uh, I really enjoy doing these. It's been fun to just try different film stocks. It's also been fun trying to like, I enjoy the format of not having to go out and take a video camera with me. I enjoy just going out with my dog and my film camera, shooting a bunch of photos and finding a way to make it interesting without leaving the house. And yeah, it's just like when I take the digital camera out and try to shoot video with my film camera, I get either too focused on one or the other and one gets neglected, obviously. And so trying to find a balance that works for me. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get there. People are seeming to enjoy these. So yeah, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate any engagement you can offer me. And um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Oh. Going forward, this is the last one for this year. So going into the new year, we are going to start doing uh, serious film reviews on Wednesdays. And then if I have more videos for that week, they will either come out Friday or Saturday. Um, but for sure, look for serious film reviews on Wednesdays. I'm gonna keep doing these as long as I can, as long as I have a different film stock to review. Um, yeah, with that being said, if there's any film you want me to review, like not the obvious ones, but some weird ones that I might not think about or yada, 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 let me know in the comments. I will do my best to source them out and add them to 
uh, my growing collection. I'm just kidding, it's really actually very small. I only have one roll of film left to shoot, so I'm gonna have to get on that. Um, yeah, I think I've said it a million times, but thank you. I really, really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been it's been motivating me to continue just taking photos, getting out there, growing better photography habits, growing as a photographer, growing as an artist, um, finding a way to communicate with some sort of community, um, and just finding an alternative way to share my art with whoever may want to look at it. Um, yeah, it's been it's been highly rewarding for me. So I really appreciate it. Really appreciate all of it. All of it, all of it, all of it. Um, yeah. Thank you. Love you. You're beautiful. Bye. I'll see you later.